Hey, what up, guys? Pixelated here, and on today's awesome video, we're gonna be talking about the latest dev stream that just happened a couple of hours ago. I believe it was dev stream 92. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So first of all, of course, we have housekeeping. Uh, all of you guys on all platforms, of course, get a gift of Lotus Alert for 24 hours. Also, there is a second gift of Lotus Alert that you guys can do to get yourself three uh, three nineteens. Basically, it's a bundle of nineteen. So yeah, make sure you guys do that. And of course, uh, one more thing that I really quick want to mention is that. Uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players, you guys are going to be getting uh, the Ambulus revamp update next week, pretty much. So yeah, hope you, uh, hopefully you guys wait for that. And uh, next, I'm gonna show you some images real quick. So this, this one right here, it's a, it's, it's a new enemy. I'm gonna be talking about this in a bit. And also, this is a weapon uh, that is used by the new enemies. So uh, let, let's talk about these enemies. So these guys are going to be a new Grenier unit. So these guys are called the Grenier uh, Chem Strike Unit or Nox. So basically, they're part of the Grenier, you know, chemical unit or whatnot. So they use the uh, the uh, the weapon that I showed is a weapon of that once Nox enemy. Okay, so basically, it's like a gas weapon. Nox will uh, feature unique battle mechanics such as shattering a uh, gas. Uh, shattering his gas helmet so basically you, you can see the frame is ugly and stuff and the chemical will have an effect on his face and everything and uh, you know he will also have a quote-unquote flesh and uh, custom gruggly voice Wow, like great, great shit, but a uh, custom gruggly voice doesn't really sound that much promising in my opinion. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, it sounds pretty good. But yeah, that's the new uh, the new enemy that is going to be coming to the game pretty soon. And uh, uh, one thing they, they said is that that weapon, that the new weapon could also get to the new players at the same time. So yeah, hopefully guys, you will, will wait for that. And this is being quote unquote worked on, so it's not ready to go yet. So yeah. Next thing we're gonna be talking about is some Captura stuff. So, if you guys didn't know, Captura right now on Warframe is a very popular thing. And in case you wanted to take selfies or you wanted to make like team capturas, well, shit, you just got your wish granted. So, uh, yeah, now you can do capturas on multiplayer. So, basically, you can take your team and take capturas with them. So, suppose you're the host and you invite your friend and you're like, hey, you want to take some team, quote, uh, quote unquote, team screenshots and you can just go in in the Captura with a squad. Basically, yeah, you can take screenshots in multiplayer now. Now, the host controls the time, but all the other players get the same option. They can make their, you know, like they can do grain, they can do saturation, they can do uh, depth, distance, exposure, whatever you want to call it. They have all of that option, but the host controls the time so that's the main thing so as soon as they press the like the capture mode everything just goes blind and everything just stops and the every everyone just goes into the capture mode i can they their own i can and they can do their own stuff so yeah that's pretty much the main thing so yeah that's pretty interesting now the next thing we're going to be talking about is just is i i just wanted to put this in because i don't know if this is that much important or whatnot but yeah i just wanted to put this in so you can right now you can color or not right now you can uh, separate you can do separate and uh, you can do separate cyan dana and armor coloring. So you could this, uh, the armor coloring and the cyan dana uh, coloring are pretty much separate. So before this, you couldn't do that. Everything has to like match the same. But right now, you have more possibilities. So that basically means you can uh, color your cyan dana and your armor separately. So yeah, that's that's. That's pretty cool. That's pretty decent. I mean, if you're a fashion frame dude, so sure, this is this is pretty good news for you, you know. So yeah, you can basically color uh, cyan dana and armor separately right now, and this will probably bring more customization uh, possibilities in the future. So I'm really interested in this, and also the Tenogen items are going to be coming soon. Around, I believe it's around eight or something. Yeah, round eight or of Tenogen. So now let's get to the juicy part of the of the dev stream, which is of course the Harrow gameplay. You know, the Harrow ability showcase or whatnot. So I'm just gonna say this: he is um, he's a very weird ass frame. He's a very weird ass frame, and of course, uh, all of his abilities sort of synergize with each and uh, 
each another. So uh, let's talk about the first ability. So the first ability shoots a line that chains uh, chain structs the enemies to the ground, freezing them. So basically, this is sort of like a CC ability. You know, it's a crowd control ability. So you basically launch this, launch this. You know, like thing like Nidus. Nidus basically stomps the ground, and infestation starts to grow with it. But this on the on this frame, you basically launch this thing or this wave, and it will basically chain the enemies, and they will be basically stuck quote unquote stuck they'll be basically stuck and the second ability sacrifices all the shields to get buffs on reload speed and fire rate there is also some kind of team healing component they did not explain that yet so also you can uh, like freeze the enemies and of course you can uh, take headshots uh, you know take headshots or whatnot the headshots are really important because the third ability uh, basically, you know, does this animation and uh, um, sort of, I don't know, just hand-wielding animation or something. So, basically, it's <laughs> it's really weird. So, after you cast that ability, with each headshot, uh, it depends on how much you charge it. So, if, suppose you charge the ability for 16 seconds with headshot, you will get that 16 energy back. So, you can synergize this with the first ability, of course. So, you can freeze the enemies charge your energy like uh, you know basically charge your energy then you can get your energy back after you kill the enemy of course so that's that's pretty that's pretty but that's pretty decent I, I'm, I'm not lying cool you know whatever so yeah that's that's pretty that's yeah that's pretty cool holy shit i messed that up so badly but yeah also your uh, teammates will get the energy after you kill the enemy with a headshot of course and the fourth ability is that creates an in invulnerability period on all damage received during that period or gives or uh, gives all bonuses at the very end so yeah that's pretty much it and uh, i can say that this frame is just really interesting because considering we have never seen this type of synergizable abilities ever before un unless night is unless you want to talk about night is because night is has all that stacking system or whatnot but this frame is of course useful because i like the way this uh, frame is working they have a lot of visual stuff going on with the abilities and i like of course the first ability is pretty cool because it has some crowd control abilities uh, crowd control power and whatnot so that's pretty cool so you can basically like uh chain then you can uh, you know do your energy thing then you can go with the headshots so it's all very synergizing with one another you can also buff your reload speed and your fire rate with the i believe it's the yeah second ability so you can sacrifice all your shields and of course the passive of harrow is that he has doubled uh, he has double over shield capacity so yeah that's pretty interesting in my opinion and yeah, that's that's pretty cool that's pretty decent so this is a frame i and i have never seen this type of design ever before by uh, warframe so of course as long as you you know like you hold uh the third ability you know you charge this uh, third ability depends if you charge it for 20 se 26 seconds so and if you after that if you hit a headshot you'll get 26 energy back so that's how pretty much uh, all of the abilities work with harrow and whatnot and precision shooting is of course important with this frame so yeah that's pretty much all of the abilities uh uh, of harrow so yeah i'm really looking forward to this frame and of course there's going to be a quest uh, from the red veil or whatnot so yeah that's that's pretty sick and this is going to be the next thing is going to be a thing that i really wanted to mention now if you look closely to the image you can see that there is a excalibur umbra yes a excalibur umbra I, I thought I had given up hope on this, but I wanted to mention this, okay? I wanted to mention this, so there were some, there were some leaks on Reddit, and so this guy was like, hey, let's just go to the profile and check this out, and he saw, like, this Master Rank 1 and 3 had, like, Excalibur Umbra on their profile, and maybe they were, like, field-testing Excalibur Umbra before it came out, you know? So, now, of course, they, uh, you know, like, they stated this on the stream that don't, they said do not, they said don't, to, you know get your hopes up or whatnot because that was just a, probably a mistake or whatnot so do not get your hopes up or maybe do because why would it else be on the game de are you hiding something but but yeah basically you know i was like i freaked out i wanted to make a video but i was like hey you know what i'll wait for the dev, dev stream because they will probably mention this in the dev stream or whatnot so yeah i waited now you see excalibur umbra right now is probably one of the most uh, debated topics on the community and i don't want to get into this i don't want to give you any false information but those images seems legit 100 percent. and i also uh, I checked on pc on those two pro profiles and yeah those images are pretty legit and yeah they uh you know they're they also appeared in games so what can i say though those images are pretty legit or whatnot so those are pretty interesting and uh yeah excalibur umbra 
hopefully it will be coming soon but uh no words from the devs no official words from the devs yet but they said do not get your hopes up because that image was probably you know it was a mistake or whatnot so yeah that's pretty much all of the main things that i could find and uh one more thing that i want to really quick want to talk about of course the sword and uh gun dual wield so you can basically you know dual healed any single handed sword and with uh uh with a secondary so you know it's still in early stages it's a melee chain so of course it will take some time to come and glaive and gun will be the first combination released with harrow long swords daggers machetes whips rapiers everything will be in the future compa compatibility but the compatibility of nikanas are not sure yet or whatnot and yeah so it's pretty those are pretty cool you know wow i cracked my voice right there but yeah those are pretty cool so and uh yeah of course the first page of harrow's webcomic is going to be released so if you guys didn't know uh octavia had a webcomic and our harrow will have a webcomic to explain the story as well so yeah and the syndicate assassination uh thing you know it's being worked on so hopefully you guys uh, can look forward to that pretty soon and yeah those are pretty much all of the main stuff that uh was revealed on dev stream so yeah I yeah that's it for the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button if you enjoyed the video guys if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button because hitting that subscribe button helps me out a ton and yeah I'll catch you guys on the next one peace hope y'all have a great day